Mexico. Hey, this is Roy from Cloud9 Classics. We're inside the showroom and we're checking out a really special 1968 Ford Mustang. What makes it special? It's one of 481 that were sold in the Pacific Northwest called a Gold Nugget Special Edition. Let's check this baby out. As you can see, it's sunlit gold, blacked out hood treatment, black C-stripe, black and inter uh, gold interior. What makes this car even more special other than its rarity is the history on this car. And I'm gonna go through that in the middle. But check out this beautiful paint job. That was done in 2008 by the uh, previous owner who owned it since 2004. All your chrome, all of your trim, everything looks fantastic. Original black vinyl roof, still looks excellent. So the original owner, and that's a really cool story. The original owner bought this car in January of 1968. On the Gold Nugget Specials, they actually put the owner's name on a plaque on the interior. I'll show you that in the video and you'll see it in the pictures. We have a binder full of history on this car that includes the original window sticker, the original sales invoice. And when she purchased this car, she traded in a 1957 Chevy. They gave her $125 on a trade-in. Kind of funny, it's in the documentation. Again, one of the things that makes this thing so special. Let's take a look at some of the documentation we have on this car. We do have the Marty report. Marty report shows that this was the Gold Nugget Special, one of 481. It was ordered from the Seattle DSO. The Seattle DSO normally would be a 74 on the DSO, but to indicate the Gold Nugget Specials, they added the 1111 extension onto that. In addition, to indicate that it was a Gold Nugget Special, when you look at the color code, color code for Sunlit Gold is Y. Uh, they added the five there to indicate that it had the blacked out hood treatment, again, part of the Gold Nugget Special. So that documents the car as far as originality. It was uh, nicknamed Maggie. It was actually nicknamed Maggie by the people that I bought it from. Um, the original owner's name was Margaret. They just thought that was a super cute name. They had a license plate made up uh, for it, and it's just super cool. Uh, so original owner owned it through 2003, was sold through her estate. Uh, the gentleman who purchased it did a little bit of work on it, and then it was sold to this gentleman that I purchased it from. He owned it since 2004, bought it for his wife's birthday, owned it for almost 20 years. They were downsizing, it was time to let it go. Now somebody else is gonna have the opportunity to own this beauty. Let's take a look at Maggie herself. This is a original photograph of Maggie with the car. Don't know how old she was at the time, but how sweet is that? Maggie passed away, unfortunately, and in her obituary, to let you know how special this car was, it actually indicates that Maggie owned a 1968 Ford Mustang Coupe that because of Maggie's size seemed to be driving itself. So she was a tiny woman. Maggie took unbelievable condition of this car. Let's take a look at some of the other documentation as I mentioned. This was an advertisement that they had had. Originally they were planning on making 525 of them, but it ended up being 481. This is the original window sticker sold out of Westside Ford in Seattle, Washington. I do have a lot of uh, original registration receipts on the car. This was a receipt from Westside Ford for her deposit or her payment, $2,910. This is the original sales order, and that's where it shows that she traded in a 1957 Chevy four-door, and they gave her a whopping $125 on the trade-in. Way to go, Maggie. So it's really hard, as you know, to get that kind of documentation. This is an original build sheet. I believe it was found under a seat. Again, that's your uh, photocopy of the photo and the obituary. These are some pictures of the uh, time in 2008 when this car received its one and only paint job. As you'll see, it was pretty much a rust-free car, received a professional repaint by a high-end restoration shop. That's some of the documentation we have. These are receipts on some of the work that's been done to it over the years. This is the receipt for the paint job, almost $6,000 back in 2008 very high-end paint job it's a beautiful car we also have the original owner's manual and the envelope the original owner's manual came in and kind of funny somebody wrote down in the original owner's manual to do a oil change 
The first checkup would be at 6,000 miles or six months. Here's the original owner's manual. It has Margaret and her husband's name on it. Just some really cool original documentation. We have two sets of original keys. So again, this is a car I actually had never heard of. I've followed Mustangs quite a bit. I never heard of the Gold Nugget Special. This is one you don't want to miss out on. If you've been looking for a really special Mustang that you can get in, drive and enjoy, this is the one. She is a six cylinder. She cruises automatic power steering. Interior was redone. We actually redid the seat covers. They were original and we would have loved to leave them original, but the driver's seat was torn up pretty badly. You'll see pictures of the original and uh, we decided to, to treat Maggie to a brand new set of gold seat covers. So there she is. The plate is on the dash with uh, the Darrow's name on it and the original ownership. Everything works on this car. Available for you to bid on Bring a Trailer. Get your bids in. Call me with any questions. It's Roy at Cloud9 Classics, 770-359-8400. Thanks very much and good luck.